Hey, do you know where my uh, draft is? What is it on? Your desk? No, it's not. Um, it doesn't matter. I can, I, I can write a new one. It's fine. What? Why? That was really good. No, I, I, I'm going to do it over. I've got another idea in mind. OK, well, keep at it. It was really good. Anyway, I'm going to work. I'll see you later. OK, um, can you pick up my meds? Yeah, will do. OK, love you. Love you, bye. I thought you were cleaning for the Smiths today. They... they let me go. Oh. What are we going to do? Look, the rents are going to be frozen, OK? So that's going to give you time to get another job. No one wants anyone around with this bloody virus. And even if I did get a client, then what? Sit on our arses till Boris says, oh yeah, we need that money back now. And it's not like you can get a job, can you? Look, I'm sorry, OK? I'm just stressed. Look, if you need me to get a job... No, no, you'll get it right. You're so close. OK. I'll put the kettle on. Did you get my meds? What meds? My meds.
Are you sure we just can't order some more of these meds? I already have, but they might take a while to arrive. <sighs> oh, uh, oh. God, I can't believe she's forgotten to order the meds. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going out for a walk. I'll see you later. I've left my phone to charge. Don't unplug it, please. I need to make a call when I get back. Okay, bye. I'll see you later. Enjoy your walk. Good, yeah. Really cold though. Do you want me to make you a brew? No, I need to make that call. Okay. Did you get any messages while you were out? Have you been touching my meds? No, I haven't touched your meds. There should be more than what's here. Are those my meds? It's nothing. If it's not my meds, who is it? It's just something for me.
Darren? Why is he texting you? Darren? What are you on about? Don't be stupid. You know what? Look, I've seen the messages. You've been reading my messages? How dare you? Look, who is he? Why are you hiding things from me? If you want to leave with Darren, that's fine. Just say. Okay, okay. Darren is a client. I came for. He's cancelled the jobs that I was supposed to do this week. Everyone's cancelling on me. I'm running out of money, but I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want to worry you. I leave you for one minute and you know what? Never mind. Where's my phone? Well, don't look at me. I haven't seen your phone. <sighs> oh, you found my... What are you doing? Yeah, well, like I said, I'm going to find the truth. What are you talking about? All these people you're talking to. Why would you do that? Look, they're just more cleaning jobs. We need money.
aren't you eating? Sorry? I've made you God knows how many butties and you just look at them like they're poisoned or something. Well, sorry. Oh, sorry? Is that it? I've wasted half a loaf on you and now they're all in the bin. Why don't you eat them then? Well, excuse me for being a thoughtful person. What's wrong with you? Christ, I even made your favourite. Hello? Hey, will you talk to me? Uh, listen, you stupid cow. I, I've had enough of you just lingering around and constantly complaining about this and that. Look, I'm trying to do some work and you're not helping. Don't you ever! What, 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 what? Don't do anything. Even if I did do something, what would you do? Can we talk about this over a copper? Fine. Yeah. Stupid bloody wolf. Psycho. Why are you staring at that pillow? What? <laughs> no, nothing. Um, yeah, thanks for the brew. Can we sit down now and talk? Yeah. Right. Why are you feeling so stressed? It's because I don't have my medication. Okay! Just calm down. Remember what your therapist said. What's this? What? what is what? What have you done to this? Oh God, I can, I can see what you're doing now. What do you mean? The calls. I need to make a call when I get back. The text. <laughs> Darren. That's who you found. You found someone else. And what is this? You're trying to poison me. No, I wouldn't do that. Look, we're going through a bad time. We are all restricted on what we can do, and where we can go. I just thought you might have wanted to calm her to take the stress off your mind. And why would I believe you? I thought we didn't have any medication. Well, I found one of my old sleeping tablets and my handbag when I was looking for my phone. Then why were you looking for your phone then? <laughs> To text your boyfriend, Darren. He is offering cleaning jobs for me. We can't afford anything anymore. Neither of us have jobs now. Instead of messaging Darren, you could be getting my meds. The meds that you forgot. Stop being a psycho! Psycho! I'm not psycho. a psycho. Psycho! Psycho! I'm not a psycho.
do you get my meds? Who the hell's Darren? But those are my meds. If it's not my meds, who is it? I'm gonna find the truth. Who are the people you're talking to? Why would you do that? I am not a psycho. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sorry, what? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yes, I do. How long had you and your wife been together? We were going to celebrate our 10th anniversary this year. When did you first start experiencing your feelings of paranoia? Well, when, when the government put us into lockdown, I was worried. You must stay at home. I needed my medication and I started rationing what I was taking. Did you get my meds? And I kept thinking that I should be able to get my medication. If it's not my meds, who is it? And these increased when she would get messages and calls on her phone? She... I, I saw messages on her phone. It was a name I didn't recognize. And that seemed strange to me because who, 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 who the hell's Darren? I know now, but who was this man? And why would she hide these messages? You've expressed that you thought she was tampering with your medication. I would, I would check my medications, my tablets, and I, I thought I knew how many I had, and there seemed to be fewer left. And who, who else would have, who else could have been messing with the, the medications? It was. She was the only other person here. You are aware that in the court, the content of the letter was made public. And it was, in fact, from a publishing house who was sending you a letter of intent with a view to publishing your first book. If she hadn't hidden things, then she wouldn't have made me do what I did. And I know what I know what happened and I wish it hadn't happened but I I just wish she told me because then she'd still be here <laughs> 